zodiac signs ranked from most to least controlling. Aries is the most controlling sign with its position first in the zodiac chart. Sagittarius is the least controlling because of the desire to be left alone. Fire signs tend to be more controlling than earth or water signs and air signs tend to be less controlling, but this is not a hard and fast rule. Chart position, preceding signs, and planetary alignment all affect the potential for control. When considering romantic relationships, business partnerships, or friendships, many of us turn to the zodiac to discover what motivates our fellow human beings. You may wish to understand what drives your own need for control. Learn about which zodiac signs correspond with controlling traits and how control plays out for different signs. Number one, Aries. As the first zodiac sign, Aries are powerful and pioneering. Aries demonstrate leadership but this desire to lead often turns into taking charge. As a Mars sign, Aries are oriented towards conflict. Fire signs like Aries tend to be energetic and passionate. This passion can become an unhealthy desire for control. Above all else, Aries is independent and self-sufficient. Independence at its extreme becomes control. Number two, Leo. Leos are courageous and protective, showing lion-like traits. However, Leos can be prideful and inflexible. When Leos are not getting their way, Leos become stubborn and arrogant up to the point of controlling others by refusing to budge. This is because a Leo tends to be self-confident, but struggles with trusting others. Number three, Scorpio. Scorpios are intense, deep, and emotional, ruled by Mars and Pluto. Scorpios are fiercely competitive and persistent, unwilling to give up until they win. The intensity and ferocity of a Scorpio can lead this zodiac sign to control and manipulate others. Scorpios will not let anything or anyone get in the way of their agenda. Number four, Taurus. Taurus is controlling in a quiet, manipulative way. Taurus is seductive and attractive, drawing desires close and magnetizing people to behave the way the Taurus wants. The power of a Taurus is passive, but don't mistake that for a willingness to be trampled on. As the bull, Taurus is slow moving yet stubborn. Number five, Cancer. Cancers are a highly emotional sign. The way a cancer controls others is by using emotional outbursts to provoke a response and manipulate behavior. Cancers have a tendency to lash out before hiding in their shells. Pay attention to sudden mood changes as a sign of control in a cancer. Number six, Virgo. Virgos are known for being hardworking and goal oriented. Virgos value logic and correctness, sometimes over relationship. Virgos may display their need for control by trying to win debates and prove themselves right. Their critical nature may cause them to shut down other viewpoints that they cannot reconcile with their own. Number seven, Capricorn. Capricorns are resourceful and stubborn. While it may sometimes be challenging to get along with a Capricorn because it requires patience and loyalty, a Capricorn is more likely to hold a grudge than to attempt to change someone. Capricorns become controlling as a way of avoiding chaos because Capricorns value order so highly. 
If a Capricorn believes only one system can succeed, they may impose that system on others. Number eight, Pisces. As a water sign, Pisces is fluid and dreamlike. Pisces hold the last position on the zodiac table and as such is highly influenced by the signs coming before it. This means that a Pisces may have periods of becoming controlling through this influence. However, control is lessened by the empathy and compassion felt by a Pisces. Pisces are experience oriented, not goal oriented, preferring to take in life as it comes. Number nine, Gemini. If a Gemini is controlling, it is balanced by the more passive side of their nature. Gemini is an air sign guided by the twins Castor and Pollux. Geminis exhibit high levels of duality, which means that many traits are tempered by their own internal conflict. Decision-making is difficult for a Gemini. Control in the Gemini is usually focused on controlling their own choices. Number 10, Libra. Libras value spontaneity and flexibility to the point where controlling others is not a priority. Libras are very charming, which gives them the potential to manipulate. However, Libras are also highly social and people-pleasing, realizing that controlling others come with a high social cost. Diplomacy outweighs the need for control for a Libra. Number 11, Aquarius. Aquarius is known for an internal focus rather than an external one. Because an Aquarius spends so much time gazing inward, there is not a need in an Aquarius for control or manipulation. An Aquarius does not spend enough time noticing other people to know who or what to control. Number 12, Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a sign willing to go with the flow. Live and let live could be the model of a Sagittarius. As long as you do not interfere with the freedom of a Sagittarius, you will not see controlling behavior. Because a Sagittarius values personal freedom so highly, it's unimaginable to interfere with the freedom of others. To a Sagittarius, the most important need is control of individual destiny. Zodiac signs and control. Now that you understand which zodiac signs are the most controlling, you can make wiser choices in the relationships you form. If you recognize the darker and more controlling side of your own zodiac sign through reading this, you might be able to rein in that need for control. Keep in mind that control manifests differently for different signs. Understanding how control manifests allows you to respond to it.